All right, let me plug the joint right quick. Only deal with women who are a compliment to your life. Gentlemen, let me repeat that. Only deal with women who are a compliment to your life. You know, oftentimes I tell you guys, essentially, compatibility means existing in harmony without conflict. Being compatible means that you and your partner are well suited and that you complement each other. So when I say compatibility is existing in harmony without conflict, as a man, you should already live a harmonious life, right? That means when you extend an invitation to give women an opportunity to be a part of your life, that means they assimilate. If my life is already harmonious, why would I make alterations or accommodations or concessions for a woman to fit into my life? That would mean that she ain't feeling what she's seen. That would mean that whatever I have going on, she doesn't feel like she wants to be a part of unless I make adjustments or accommodations or concessions. In that case, she is not a compliment to me, but rather a disruption to my harmony. This is why I say I deal with women strictly on my terms. When I come across women, right, there are going to be some who ain't feeling my terms. They're going to do one of two things. They're either going to leave me alone and say, no, nah, I'm not interested in him. Or they're going to try and interject their agenda. They're going to try to get me to make concessions and accommodations so they feel better about the situation. And my response to that is, hell no. I'm not compromising anything. I'm not acquiescing to anything. I'm not going to do anything where I have to alter or make accommodations or concessions for you to want to be with me. If you ain't feeling what you're seeing, if you don't see the quality in dealing with me, if you don't see the value, then we're not compatible. Compatibility literally means existing in harmony without conflict. In just a moment, I'm going to share with you guys three audio clips. Shout out to Unique79. I know this is long overdue. I'm going to share three audio clips. Two of the audio clips is of a young lady speaking that he was dealing with. One of the audio clips is of him. So I'm going to play them in succession, right? Then we're going to go back and, and review what was said within the contents of these audio clips. Let me plug the joint. Only deal with women who are a compliment to your life. So let's go ahead and add this. You do realize that just because I'm seeing you Saturday doesn't mean that you get more than my lips, if you know what I mean. I would have to be fully with you 100% which means you being with me only and I'm being with you only, like an exclusive kind of thing for me to let a man go beyond my lips, if that makes sense. Definitely worth the wait, but um, when we get to that stage, I guess. Thank you for your audio, Rajvi. You have every right to say what you said and you're entitled to want what you want. I totally respect that. In regards to me being exclusive with either could be you or any other woman at this moment in time, it's not possible. I will only be exclusive with a woman on my terms and when I'm ready. So what I'll do is that I will cancel Saturday. So don't worry about Saturday, we shall cancel it. And I will leave a candle in the window for you. And if you change your mind and you want to go to that level with me, you have my details, reach out to me and I will arrange it and we'll make it happen. So take care and good luck. 
Can we just give a round of applause to Unique 79? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well played, sir. Well played, sir. <laughs> I said I was going to let it play through. Okay. We're going to listen to her response to what he just told her in just a moment. Let me just say this, gentlemen. If a woman wants to be a part of your situation, but she wants to try and dictate the pace and the flow of the interaction between you two, or she wants to try and dictate the terms and conditions of how she's going to be a part of your life, you got to leave her alone. It doesn't matter how cute she is. It doesn't matter how pleasant she is. It doesn't matter. Even if she's showing you genuine interest, none of that matters. If she isn't moving at your pace, if she isn't dealing with you on your terms, you got to let her go. Okay, You cannot allow women to come into your life and they want to maintain some semblance of control of the situation. You're going to be butting heads. There's only but one leader. There's one leader. And that's you, the man. You're the leader. You're quarterbacking the whole situation. Right? You know, there's a saying, I mean, the NFL, when it comes to um, a team, if you have two quarterbacks, you have none. Because typically, if you have two quarterbacks and either one of them can play, what do you have? You have a quarterback controversy. If you have a woman who's coming into your life and she wants to try and retain power and control over shit, you guys are vying. For the lead role within the interaction. That's what you're doing. You are literally vying for the lead role within the interaction. Can't have it. Can't have it. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, wow. I mean, I didn't mean it that way. Um, I wasn't trying to force you to be ex exclusive to me at this point. I mean, I don't even know what I want at this point. Like... You like you know, I'm only seeing you. Mm. Um, I just didn't mean it in that way. I, I'm a bit taken back by that. Um, I didn't ask you to stop seeing the other women. I have not asked you to do that whatsoever. You've got your right to see other women. All I said was, if I want to be physical with someone, I would like it to be with someone that I kind of know that we're kind of exclusive. Doesn't mean I don't want to see you um, again or, you know, spend time with you. It would be nice to spend time with you. But, uh, I mean, if you feel that way, then I guess, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I honestly didn't mean it in that way. I wasn't forcing you to be exclusive with me at this point. Um, you have every right to see other women. I am not saying no to that. I'll, all I said was, I will be physical with someone when I know I'm exclusive with them. That's just who I am. Doesn't mean I don't want to see you again. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I guess. <laughs> Good luck, I guess. I, I'm kind of speechless with that, but okay. I just want to point out, the thumbnail should make sense. What did she say? I'm speechless at this point. She's looking at the phone like, what the fuck just happened? How some women overplay their hand. <clears throat> Let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. Let's go back to what she first said. You do realize that... Just because I'm seeing you Saturday doesn't mean that you get more than my lips, if you know what I mean. I would have to be fully with you, 100%, which means you being with me only and I'm being with you only. Like an exclusive kind of thing for me to let a man go beyond my lips, if that makes sense. Definitely worth the wait, but um, when we get to that stage, I guess. 
Okay. If you were focused and paid attention to her disposition or her demeanor, she sounded extremely confident. She sounded very sure of her position. And let me tell you why. This is what women, some women feel. They feel like he approached me. I have all of the leverage. I have something that he wants. He wants access to my vagina. He wants to fuck me. I know he's attracted to me. I know he wants to have sex with me. So what I'm going to do is, because I think I, I have the upper hand at this point, is I'm going to leverage the fact that he wants something that I have. So in order for him to get it, he's going to have to basically follow what it is I want to do. And if he plays his cards right, if he does what it is I require of him and from him, he will eventually get to the promised land. What did she say? It's worth the wait. What did she say? I'm only going to have sex with someone I'm exclusive with. Now, that's her right. That's called sexual autonomy. She's exercising her sexual autonomy. Now, Unique exercised his. Once Unique exercised his sexual autonomy, she was like, what? What the hell just happened here? Because most women aren't used to that. Most women are used to men jumping over hurdles, right? Running through buildings, running through walls, rather, to get at them sexually. They're used to being able to basically control men. Okay? And women understand this. Women understand that they can use their vagina to basically control some men, not all men, right? Unique is definitely not one of those men that could be controlled by pussy. I'm one of them. Steve the Dean is one of them. 50 is one of them. Miles is one of them. The homie Lucario and those other guys that we rock with and have a great deal of respect for, we can't be controlled by vagina. And when women encounter us, they realize real quick, damn it, I overplayed my hand. I overvalued his sexual desire for me. I overvalued it. I really believed and thought he was one of them. He was one of them other suckers that I literally, right, can get him to do what it is I want by using the allure of my vagina. Okay, I made videos talking about that, how women will use the allure of you being able to have sex with them one day. If you play your cards right and you do what it is they require of you, all you got to do is just do what they require, right? Just follow their lead and eventually you'll get what it is you want. No! Now, y'all saw how confident she sounded, right? In the first joint? Let's go to the second. At this point, I mean, I don't know way. Um, Good luck. Oh, Peep wow. game. I mean, I didn't mean it that way. Um, I wasn't trying to force you to be ex exclusive to me at this point. I mean, I don't even know what I want at this point. Like, you, like you know, I'm only seeing you. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't mean it in that way. I, I'm a bit taken back by that. Um, I didn't ask you to stop seeing the other women. I have not asked you to do that whatsoever. You've got your right to see other women. All I said was, if I want to be physical with someone, I would like it to be with someone that I... This is what she's saying. You can see and date other women. But the moment you want to have sex with me, you have to drop those other women. Guys, gentlemen, men, stop allowing women to do that. Basically, she's saying, if you want to fuck me, I need to have control over your sex life. That's what she's saying. I need to have control. I need to be able to tell you what you can and can't do with your dick if you want this. 
That's her basically wanting power. That's her wanting some semblance of control in the interaction with you. No. One of my favorite words is deference. What does deference mean? Humble submission and respect. If you want to be a part of my life, you need to humbly submit. You need to humble your motherfucking ass. Humbly submit and respect what the fuck I got going on here. Meaning, I'm going to fuck who I want to fuck. I'm going to see who I want to see. And if you want to deal with me, you're going to deal with that. In other words, ladies, you got to share a nigga. Yes, you got to share me. If you want to fuck with me, you're sharing, whether you like it or not. Now, I will assure you of this, ladies. When we are together, spending time one-on-one, -on -one, you will feel like the only woman in the world. You will feel like the only woman that's in my life in those moments. But that's it. Beyond that, I do what I do. And you can do what you do. Right? One thing I would never allow is a woman to come into my life and try and dictate what the fuck I do when it comes to me entertaining other women. No, ma'am. You have no say so. You have no horse in a race when it comes to what the fuck Carrie does. If you got a problem with it, that means we're not compatible. That means you're not a compliment to my life, but rather a disruption to it. So if you're going to be a disruption to my life, <clears throat> I got to get rid of you. A compliment is you come in, regardless of what I got going on with other women, right? You play your position. You accept the role that I've given you. If you don't like it, you can step. When you listen to the last audio clip of her speaking, she didn't sound as confident. What did she realize? Damn. I lost all access to him. He ain't even going to date me. And that's exactly how it should be. When a woman comes into your life and she starts trying to dictate when you can fuck her, the shit you got to do first before you have sex with her, you need to be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you got me confused with one of them other guys you used to date. Look, let me tell you how it's going to go. You're going to fuck with me on my terms, strictly on my terms. We're going to move at my pace, right? I'm dictating the pace of this. If that's a problem for you, not only do we not have to have sex at all, right? But we ain't even got to see each other. We, we, we won't be dating. We won't be speaking on the phone. We won't be communicating at all. I'm just going to dip on out. Good luck to you. Whatever it is you're looking for, I sincerely and genuinely hope you find it. But I'm not one of those guys that's going to allow you to come into my life and dictate shit. You can't dictate shit over here. So, gentlemen, I just want to point that out. Only deal with women who are a compliment to your life. The only time, gentlemen, <clears throat> you should be waiting to have sex is, one, you are dealing with a woman who is sexually attracted to you. You're also sexually attracted to her, but you are choosing to wait, meaning she wants to have sex with you, but you're waiting because that's how you move. You like to marinate it first. You want to wait. Anytime a woman comes into your life and she tries to dole out all these stipulations and all these requirements that you got to meet in order to fuck her, leave her where the fuck she stands. Stop allowing women to come into your life who want to relinquish or maintain some type of control or power within a situation. Baby, you got to let all that go. You must relinquish complete control. Pass all that to yours truly. That's the only way it can work. Dealing with women strictly on your terms. Only deal with women who are a complement to that, not a disruption to it. I'm out.